Hello there, I'm Captain Gift and they are making the summer sets from LEGO Star Wars 2022 wave. Well, I want to do the Mandalorian and Wannabe Starfire because that is a June 1st set and I want to do the 4 plus ATST. Even though the 4 plus ATST didn't get a reveal but still we all know with that set is gonna be dead last so yeah that's gonna be our dead last. At number 8 we have the Brickers, well they were in the 4 plus ATS because they look at least good. Even though we don't have the official pictures of the 4 plus ATS, we will know that set is gonna be garbage. But still, I like these Kenobi and Darth Vader Brickers, so they are at number 8. At number 7 we have BD1. Okay, I like the build, but I didn't play Jedi Fallen Order, so I have zero knowledge of BD1. That kinda explains why it's at number 7. Oh, and because the other sets are better than this one, so B1 is at number 7. At number 6, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi vs Darth Vader. Okay, okay, I know this is a $50 set, and yes, it's overpriced, but I really like the build. Even though it's a bit small for a $50 set. But the minifigures are the highlight. The minifigures that we get are Kenobi, Ned B, Tala, and Darth Vader. Oh, and by the way, Darth Vader has arm print, which is phenomenal. The cheapest way to get Darth Vader with arm printing if you don't own him. So yeah, that's why Oban vs Darth Vader is at number 6. At number 5, we have Ambush on Ferrix. Okay, this is the Andor set, which by the time I'm recording, the Andor series hasn't been released yet. Well, I'll be honest, the minifigs aren't that great. The minifigs that you get are Luth and L Harl... What, what did you pronounce the name? Yes, an Andor and uh, a Best One Guard. Yeah, I call this guy a Best One Guard. I know it's all his name, but I call him the Best One Guard. Deal with me. Okay, I said it enough for the minifigs. The, but the build, that big build reminds me of a gunship combined with the Razor Crest, which looks good. And that speed bike is good, so that's why it's at number 5. Number 4, Cat Bane Justify or The Justifier. Alright, this set has great minifigures. The minifigures are Total T60, Omega Phoenix, and Hunter, and my favorite, Giga Chad Bane himself. Joking is Cat Bane, but I call him Giga Chad Bane. And the build looks phenomenal. This could clearly be number 1 or number 2, but here's the catch $170. $170? This looks like a $100 set. 120 at maximum so that's why it's at number four because of the price the minifigures and the build are phenomenal but come on 170 dollars not worth my money number three obi-wan kenobi's jedi starfighter this was originally my number four choice but seeing that the justifier is overpriced i said you know what this deserves number three because it has good minifigures well they're not as good as the justifier but they're good the minifigs that you get are R4P17, Obi-Wan Kenobi, the man himself, and Tony, a Kaminoan, which finally we have a Kaminoan, guys! Great! And the build is, well, awesome. So, that's why it's at number 3. three. Number 3, the Inclusive Transfer Site. Or the Inclusive Shuttle. This set is fairly balanced. This set costs $100 and is good value for $100. And the minifigures are great. The minifigures are, are the fifth brother, Riva, or the third sister, Ben Kenobi, or Obi Wan Kenobi, or General Kenobi, and finally our main man himself, the Grand Inquisitor. Joking, Kenobi is the main man, but the Grand Inquisitor looks phenomenal. The build looks phenomenal. Oh, and the ship has interior. It has interior. It's great. This could be number one, but the number one choice beats every single set out here combined. So that's a number two. Yep, and number one we have the obvious, the phenomenal, the perfect ATT Walker. Let's start with the minifigures. The minifigures that you get are phenomenal. You get three B1 Bellies, one clone gunner, three 212 clones bugs, and the perfect, uh, best Lego Star Wars minifigure ever. Well, not best, but still, it's perfect. Phase 2 Commander Cody. I mean, the minifigure selection is perfect. Maybe better than the first battle pack. And the build, the build. Looks phenomenal. It's perfection. Oh, and that's part of that is good. And the ATT has interior. This set has interior. Is by far my favorite ATT and my favorite Lego Star Wars set. I'ma buy this. I think I'm going to buy this. Yes, this is a must-buy set for all Lego Star Wars fans and especially clone fans. So that's why it's at number one because of the minifigures and because of the ATT itself. And the box set is disappointing. It's clone box, but still, it's great. So, the ADT is at number one. one. Hey,